name's Nate D. I'm an artist here in Miami, Florida, and I'm known for the muralism that I do. So I do murals all across the state and across the country. My name is Mojo, and I'm a visual artist here in Miami. So this is in response to everything that's going on socially across the country with the uh, Black Lives Matter movement. Um, this is just a different take of it. So the image is called No Justice, No Peace, but in terms of no, it's not N-O, but K-N-O-W, like the knowledge of justice equals the knowledge of peace. So what we're basically saying is all this stuff that's going on right now with the protesting, with the people getting socially active and stuff like that, that's great. But where do we go from here? What does this look like when we accomplish all these goals? And that's the idea of knowing justice and knowing peace. And in the piece, we want to do an image of a little girl and a little boy. You know, and it's just that whole idea of we're doing this for the future, for future generations. I drew the young, the young boy as a king, pretty much, but also having like a band-aid on his face to just show that he's been through something, but also there's healing involved. And also he, he decided to do a young girl, you know, just to show like, like power. So with these two kids combined is to basically figure out how to instill that information into the younger generation to carry on like the, the, the positive ener energy of change. We were like, well, let's put up something as a juxtapose to that as something that is a little bit more a different flavor, pretty much, you know? The way I would describe my style, I would say it's contemporary urban. I have traditional training, but I also have a lot of contemporary techniques and I use contemporary tools such as spray paint. I guess uh, my style is more just more like fine art. Like if I fuse fine art with um, just like visual storytelling like comic books. So that's pretty much what I went to school for. So like I just kind of felt that that was my way of um, just expressing myself and just like visually communicating like how I solve artistic problems pretty much. So when we're doing a piece like this, what we'll do, especially the way I work, I use spray paint. I also use exterior outdoor paint. And I'll go in with the spray paint sketch it out, start dropping some of the uh, flat tones, and then I'll come back in with the uh, brush paint and start tying it up. Um, the way Mojo works, he works mostly with brush paint. So this is his first time actually doing a mural with brush paint as well as spray paint. What I want people to get from like this mural, the stuff that Nate D does, the work that I do, any piece that, that, that comes after this is just the feeling of optimism. Like I want that to be contagious. You know, like positivity, I want that to be contagious. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's real easy to just talk about things we don't want, the things we hate, the things that, that, that don't serve us. And we put a lot of energy into that. So for me, like, I have disciplined myself to, to only focus on what I want. So with that, all of the work that I do and all of the art that I do is specifically focused on positivity, optimism, hope, and joy. I'm just gonna keep pushing that as much as possible. With the, with the street art, you never know how long it's going to stay up. Once you walk away, it's on borrowed time. So what I like to do is I like to do my best in documenting everything so that even if it's gone, there's still proof that it happened. You know, With something like this, the owner is so like, excited about the piece and loves it so much, I'm sure that this is going to stay up for a while. My definition of greatness is just being authentically yourself and leaving a mark for other people to be inspired by. My definition of greatness is getting up every day and going for what, you, what your goals are, what your dreams are, what your hopes are, and not giving up. It's that tenacity to not allow things that get in your way and things to hinder you to make you give up. After I finish a piece, man, like, it's just almost like I can go grab a beer now, dude. You know what I mean? Like, it's all the hard work is done. The image is exactly like what you know, I wanted it to be like, especially the, the visual communication part of it, like what I'm trying to say, like, or in this case, what Nate and I are trying to say is like no peace and no justice. Like, you know, when it's done, man, it's just it's a sigh of relief, but then also being able to just see the reaction of the people um, in the neighborhood to see it. To have these two guys out here really, you know, speaking a message and, and giving a story to this movement, I think is what really transcends uh, not only cultures, but generations. So I think this is just great. Um, and I think it is, it's going to inspire others to use their art in more meaningful and powerful ways uh, to push forward um, social justice. Whenever I complete one of my murals, I have a feeling of joy. I just, I'm happy. It's that, it's, it's that moment that you have this idea in your head and then you're working towards creating that idea. And then when you're done stepping back and 
it looks like whatever it is that you imagined. You know, you finally birthed this creation.